Okay, here we go. We're tying a rabid rabbit. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Tied on a jig hook. This is an umqua jig hook. It's one that I've, I've done a fair amount of tying on jig hooks, but it's my first introduction in the last month to these. I really like them. This is size four. You could tie this fly in, um, you could make, use a bigger hook for a bulkier fly. And this, by the way, is Danville's 210 denier uh, flat waxed mono. So I'm using ball's eyes here. Uh, you could use double level pupil eyes. You could. Uh, the important thing is the eyes have to be heavy enough that it will turn this hook over like that. So you do some crisscrosses and then you wind, as we always do, around the base. So, you know, the, the choice of eyes on these flies. Um, people have individual preferences on eye color and eye style, and I say more power to you. So here's my my rabbit strip. It's pre-cut. I'm going to put a little taper on both ends. You don't have to. It makes it a little bit more complicated, so that's why I like to do it. Do it the back end, and it may or may not increase the flexibility the wiggle who knows if it does or not yeah it's something i do okay I, I, now here's what i gotta remember this fly is going to ride like this so i want the fur up so when i go here i'm gonna tie it with the fur side down and i put you know i go back and forth on various glues and cements and I'm using Loctite Brushable right now. There's all kinds of good ones out there. Now here's something you can do or not do. I like to add a little bit of visual interruption. So I take my Sharpie or my Copic marker. This happens to be black. You could do any color you want to. It just gives it, I don't know, Makes it different. I'm sure it absolutely increases the fish catching capability. Cactus chenille, large, pearl. Now, could you use different material to tie this fly? Absolutely. This is in keeping with the, the white theme. So, so why tie a white fly? Well, some people say it's because that's the natural that's the color of the natural food source. And that may be true, but I've seen situations, many situations, where just white flies just work. And the fish aren't necessarily, they don't necessarily have access to white shiners of any kind. So, you know, a white fly is just a fishy fly. Now, I'm gonna do something that may seem a little bit weird, but instead of using pearl, crystal flash, or ice wing, or something like that, flashy boo, I'm gonna use smolt blue. I just like, I like the way it, like the way it looks. So now we're gonna use some life flex in white. <clears throat> Now this material, it's really nice from a fish attracting standpoint, as well as an angler attracting standpoint, but it is really tricky to tie with. I say really tricky, you know, it's not that bad. You can, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. 
but the point is it you know it it, it can kind of get in your way so you just have to be patient with it and you see I, I tied in and just kind of moved it over and I like trim those pieces there it's gonna have real nice wiggle <clears throat> I'm going to finish this fly off. There, there are many, many versions of brushes you could use, or you could spin craft fur in a loop. This is a Senyo's um, br Foxy brush. Pretty sure this one's called Live Bait. It's, it's white. It's got a little bit more flash in it. So that way I don't need to add ice wing. I try to capture the, the tip of that uh, brush. Now I'm going to grab this this wire at the back end and as I start to be nice if this would just stand on edge and none of the fibers would get trapped but that isn't always the case. So as I'm going I will just, now th this one's going really pretty well. I'm getting minimum trappage here. Usually these brushes will kind of twist on you. And at this point you have, you know, you face that dilemma. Do I take another turn or do I stop here? And I am going to take another turn. And that's a matter of, of subjectivity. The more turns you take, now this fly would fish with one turn. I think I got, I'm pretty sure I got three or four there. Some people like these flies to be really opaque and they may use five or six turns. Now I'm going kind to of trim. I did not trim that wire just right close. So I'm going to, I can feel it there. I'm going to bend it back out of the way. And I'm going to pull that material back. Now you, you could, you could use a, um, see a thread like a Vebus. You know, even a 10 aught, an 8 aught would be plenty strong enough to do this. The only reason to not do so is um, when you're working around the wire, the finished en en ends of the wire, it uh, can be pretty abrasive on your thread. So here we've got our, our smoke blue flash. We got our nice white body. I'm going to put just a hint. Now you could use a, a UV resin on this head. All kinds of things you can do. That's uh, the rabid rabbit. Uh, have fun with this pattern. Get out and tie a few and go fishing. Thank you.